So we've everyone has heard of Bill the Bastard. Bill, my, Australia's most famous horse, I think. Some people say Sandy, but anyway, Bill was famous for many things and many myths. But there's one thing that he did do, and that is on the 4th of August 1916 at Romani, he was being ridden by Major Michael Shanahan. At the time, the Battle of Romani had turned for the Allies and Chevelle had ordered the Australian Light Horse and the New Zealand Mounted Rifles to withdraw, retreat, but he wanted a drawn out fighting retreat. He did not want the men to just give up easily, he wanted a fighting retreat. But he also issued the order that no men were to dismount and to engage the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They had to fight, withdraw, and remain on their horses. The Major was riding up and down the fighting line, making sure the men didn't get carried away by bloodlust and did what they were supposed to do, fighting withdrawal. At two o'clock in the morning on a pitch black night, he heard, he discovered that some troops were trapped behind the Turkish lines. He rode Bill through the dark and through the Turks to where he heard the skirmish and shouting was taking place. And what he found was four New Zealand right mounted rifles who had had their horses shot out from under them and were fighting a desperate battle with a group of tur Turks. Bill, I keep saying Bill, the Major rode Bill into the Turks. It's, it's claimed, whether this is a myth or not, but it's claimed that Bill smashed into one Turk and kicked another, and at least one of those two were killed just by Bill. The Major then told those four mounted rifles to get up on Bill. Now, what I'll just take a moment to pause. Cody is 15-3 hands high. Bill was 17 hands high. So maybe 9, 10 inches taller than Cody. Bill was also often described as looking a bit like a draft horse. So he was a pretty big, tough, strong horse. Now when the Major said for everyone to jump on his horse, he was obviously riding in his saddle. He, had, he got one of the New Zealand blokes to jump up on the horse and to get on behind him and hang on close to his body. He then, he'd given up his own stirrups. He then asked for a yet another, new, can you imagine, two in the morning, screaming, shouting, gunfire. He then got yet another of the New Zealand rifle blokes to jump up. This poor horse, Bill, now has got three blokes sitting on his back. What happened next is, yes, there are still two, two New Zealand mounted rifles who have to be picked up. So one of them puts his foot in the stirrup of the saddle and he gets up and he hangs on for grim death to the three blokes that are already on the horse. And then having done that, yes, we know there's still another man. And that other man, this is very awkward, as anyone who rides knows, it's diabolical trying to get up on this side of the horse and see, Cody is not used to it. So anyway, we'll stop, I'll stop doing that because people do not usually mount from this side, I never do. Shows what Bill was like, because now we have got the rider, two blokes on the back and a man hanging off each side. What then happened is that Bill not only took off to get those blokes out of that combat, but the two guys that were on either side had Webley revolvers, and as they're riding off, the Turks are chasing them, and the two guys on Bill um, uh, are shooting at the Turks that are chasing. And then Bill carried those five blokes out of combat. So much more I could say about the Major, what happened to the Major, Bill, what happened to Bill, medals for the Major didn't happen, what a thing to do. We're going to hold this video right there and you can see by what happened with me trying to get on on the left of Cody this is all fair income stuff. So anyway, thank you very much. Please subscribe. 
Cheers. Till next time.